sanctuary has five goats. They all were rescued from slaughter, and we've learned a great deal from them. One day we had to take Isidore to the hospital. Duncan became very upset and tried to find her. We expected Duncan to be very upset because he and Isadora are very deeply bonded. They became bonded when they made their daring escape from slaughter and spent two days escaping the authorities on the Hutchinson River Parkway. But what surprised us was how upset Basil became. Basil is the brown goat here. She's crying away. Basil cares a lot about others. She's sort of like the matriarch, I think. The goat's behavior sort of reminds me about what Darwin said about human morality. He didn't think that humans just invented moral behavior out of the blue on our, on our own. It came from our ancestors living in groups and caring about each other. The goats obviously care about each other. And they're relatives of ours from the same ancestors. Now Isadora and Duncan are back together again playing as usual. Scientists debate whether animals can imitate. I often would give Maddie a rub in the neck, and one day I was surprised to see Boomer come over and rub Maddie in exactly the same spot in the neck. I've never seen him do that before, and I've never seen any of the other goats rub another goat exactly in that spot. Look like an imitation. Also, while I'm working in the pasture, I often dig out weeds. On another day, Basil went over and started digging out weeds. And then Duncan did that too. They sure did look like imitations to me. The turkeys adopted the central aisle of the barn as their home. And one of the goats that was often in the central aisle was Basil. We became very worried because a goat could ram a, a turkey right into the wall and really hurt it. But Basil showed great restraint. You might say that Basil demonstrated magnanimity, one of the qualities that Darwin said that animals share with humans.